starting with the login screen of web based crm here we need to select the company name i'm selecting the company name for my web based crm the user type whether it is an admin user or an employee then i to need to select the user id and the password for logging in once i have logged in this web based crm so i'll see four tabs there web based crm has been developed to fulfill the requirement of the client of the users entering data in the real time in sap business one being off site or being at the customer side they can easily post their documents or add their quotations orders etc directly in sap business one here as i said before we have four tabs here starting with the first tab that is your administrator tab it has three forms initially we have the user master form in this we can create different uses of our web based crm so here we need to select the company which we selected before at the time of login the same we need to select here in the company then in the employee we can select different employees all the employees which we have created in sap business 1 screen all those employees can be seen here in the web based crm you need to select this employee particular employee for which you are creating a crm user you need to enter the password for that particular user the mobile number the branch whether the user is an admin user or an employee the username the fax number the email and the department next after this the next screen is of the change password in which we can easily change the password or the user can easily change the password for their user id after this we have the company details in which we can store the back end information for our web based crm the sap license server name alias name active whether it is active or inactive the sql server version sql server name sap database name sap user id sap password sql user id and sql password all this information is beneficial from the point of view of back end for your database after this next tab is of the masters in which we can create different masters initially in this we have the city master if you want to store addresses of your leads then if you want to define a city there then you need to create a city master first so that afterwards when you create the address in the leads then you can easily select the city there so for creating a city here you need to select the country the state to which that city belongs and the city name after this we have the leads master screen in which you need to lead id which is given automatically by the system the lead name the journal information of that lead the addresses of those leads the taxes information and the contact person information contact person who is related to that particular lead after this we have the portal master in this you save different portals like your websites company websites from which you get different quotations or opportunities for your business all those portal can be stored here and you can easily link your opportunity or quotation for the from that portal after this we have the transaction tab in which we have three forms your sales opportunity sales quotation and the sales order initially discussing the sales opportunity screen in which you can save the information for your opportunity the bp code name the start date of this opportunity the contact person of the business partner opportunity number which is automatically given the closing date closing percentage opportunity name the portal from which you have received this opportunity the sales employee name remarks the potential information predicted closing in date 
predicted closing date, potential amount, weighted amount, level of interest, summary. Whether you have won this opportunity or you have lost or it is still open. Different stages of the sales opportunity can be stored here and then you can add the sales opportunity screen. After the opportunity, you, if you, uh, the opportunity has been won, then you send the sales quotation to your lead. Then you need to select the lead code, lead name, quotation number, posting date, valid until date, document date, contact version of that particular quotation, con customer reference number, the branch, bill to and ship to addresses. Multiple bill to and ship to addresses can be stored here. The sales employ, the shipping type, the payment terms of that particular lead, the document type, approval if it has an approval template linked to it, the sales quotation, then you can get it here also. The best feature is you can store all kind of information like your item related quotation, a service related quotation, your item related with discount or without discount, all those can be stored here in the sales quotation screen. In the item description, if it is an item related quotation, then you can store here in the item description. If it is in service related quotation, then you can store the service description here. If you have freight in that quotation, then you can also add freight here. After the quotation is confirmed, we create the sales order screen. In the sales order screen, you need to save the journal information, the lead code, lead name, sales order number, posting date, valid until date, document date, contact person, customer reference, etc. Then the item information which for which you are creating the sales order. Then you can add the sales order. Lastly, we have the fourth tab that is the service tab in which we have service call. All the after sales services are stored here. Basically, your service complaints, which you receive after the sale of different items. So you can store it here. Service call type can be sales or of purchasing the BP code name, the contact person of that particular business partner, the serial number of the item, important fields which are beneficial from the point of view of storing a complaint in SAP Business One. All those are present here and any user who is off-site or who is at the customer site can easily enter these information and add the service complaint of their customer. The item name, item description, item group, subject, resolution, the call status, etc. All these details can be seen here. The priority, whether it is low, high, medium, created on, closed on, contract number, if it has been linked to any contract, end date, origin, problem type, problem subtype, call type, technician, handled by. The user who is handling this complaint, scheduling whether it has been scheduled or uh, some technician has been scheduled to this complaint or not. All this basic information which are beneficial can be stored here. Thank you all.